Michael Jordan once said, I failed over and over and over again, and that is why I have succeeded. I love that quote because I realized what I learned in my valleys helps me to get to my mountaintops. In fact, I wouldn't be at this mountaintop if I didn't have my valleys. I wasn't popular at all when I was in school. It was hard walking down the hall, felt like a fool. Kids can be so cruel when somebody's different. The guys call me names and the girls stay distant. I had a little stutter and I didn't learn fast. Butterflies in my stomach every day in class. I felt bad because I had love inside. But nobody took the time to ever know I was a nice guy. All the name calling tore me down. But I didn't know then it would mold me now. What doesn't kill you, kills you pound for pound. My endurance allows me to go round for round. I'm a heavyweight now. See the passion in my eyes when you overcome pain? It's no surprise. Break before the bullies in my life. You know why? Why they try to break me down? I was learning to survive. Ah. When I was young, I was horrible at sports, and the guys on my team thought that I was a dork. I admit I wasn't good, but I tried my best. That's all that really mattered, so I didn't stress. Because my dad was in the bleachers, cheering me on, so no bully in this world could ever do me harm. Even when the spectators or haters stay strong, had a real bond that helped me go on. When I messed up, I confess, I respect that. Everybody's gonna make mistakes, so expect that. It's all about learning from the trips and the stubbles. Never get discouraged, always stay humble. The only real losers never enter the arena. Criticize how you play, but in the game you never see them. Just so wanna do my best, and in my dad's eyes, I won the race because I know how to survive. question for you. <laughs> I have a question for you. Here's my question. How many of you, how many of you saw me fall down? <laughs> you saw me fall. You saw me fall down, but also you saw how I immediately got back up again and continued dancing. <laughs> That there is a very powerful illustration of a very profound life principle. You see, in life, we all fall down from time to time because nobody's perfect. We all fall down, but only the winners keep getting back up again. Holler if you hear me. <laughs> yes, only the winners realize that we can always start over again. No matter what has happened in the past, we can always press the reset button. The reset, there's a reset button in life. We can always press the reset button, no matter what has happened in the past. Now, of course, of course, we do have to face the consequences of our behavior. And our behavior always has consequences. However, it's never too late to start over again. It's never too late to press the reset button. I think about the story about a father who had two sons. And the younger son gave in to the temptation to reject his values and to go out and live a very wild lifestyle. So he went out and he lived this very wild lifestyle and he starts to experience that at first it's very fun, right? But over time, he gets to a point where he starts to experience the consequences of, of his behavior. He starts experiencing the pain, the pain that we all can relate to, the pain that we experience when when, when, when we realize that, that, that we're doing something that goes against our values, goes against our integrity, he starts experiencing this pain. And at that moment, he decides to push the reset button. He decides to start over again. He decides to come back home, home to his values, home to his integrity, home to his beliefs. So he's coming back home, but you know what? He's thinking that he's messed up so much. He's thinking that his father will never accept him fully back into the family. So he's thinking that he's just going to come back home and beg his father to be made like one of the hired servants. And so he's shocked 
when as he's coming back home, his father comes out to greet him and embraces him and completely forgives him and accepts him back into the family. And not only that, but the father even throws him a big party to celebrate his return. I love that story because one of the powerful messages of that story is that it's never too late to start over again. The past does not equal the future. Our biography does not have to become our destiny. And so therefore, we do not have to live in the past. In fact, it's very unhealthy to live in the past. Because if you live in the past, you die in the present. Holler if you hear me. If you live in the past, you die in the present. If you're holding on to the baggage of the past, you'll never be able to fully embrace the present moment. We must let go of the baggage of the past, but always hold on to the lessons that we've learned from the past. And that's a very key point, because think about it. Good judgment comes from experience, and experience often comes from bad judgment. So as long as we always learn from our mistakes, then even our mistakes will become part of the process of our ultimate success. Holler if you hear me. I get so excited. I get so excited because this material is so real. Let go of the baggage of the past. Hold on to the lessons that you've learned and move forward. Move forward. And every time you fall, pick up only the lesson and move forward. And this is very important because in life, all of us have to become one of three things a potato, an egg, or a coffee bean. A potato, if you place a potato in the hot boiling water, the hot water will change the potato into becoming soft, right? An egg, you place an egg in the hot boiling water, the hot water will, will change the inside of the egg into becoming hard, right? But a coffee bean, if you place a coffee bean into hot boiling water, the hot water will not change the coffee bean, but rather the coffee bean will change the hot water. And so likewise, as we go through hot water, as we go through problems and struggles and challenges and disappointments and insecurities and fears and worries, we don't have to allow the hot water to change us into something hard and angry, nor soft and weak, but rather we can change the hot water into opportunities to learn and grow stronger. Holler if you hear me. Because really, every struggle, every challenge is an opportunity to learn and grow stronger. Because as we know, our problems are just personal development exercises that are designed to prepare us to achieve our purpose and our destiny in life. Our problems are really blessings in disguise. <laughs> now, of course, these things are easier said than done. And that's why my next point is very important. Please always remember to stay connected to your source of strength. Now listen, I'm not here trying to tell you what to believe spiritually, but I am here trying to tell you this. Always stay connected to your source of strength. Always take time to do things that will strengthen your values and your faith and your beliefs. Because connected to your source of strength, you will have the power to drop the weasels and fly like an eagle. Holler if you hear me. Now, for this next activity, everybody please stand up and, and, and stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. Stretch up towards the ceiling and lean to, your, uh, lean to your right and lean to your left. All right, stretch up again. Or go ahead, uh, let your arms down, but stay standing, stay standing. What we're talking about here today is very important because we're talking about dropping the weasels, letting go of negativity, and that's very important. Because every single day of our lives, we all deal with negativity. We all deal with negative thoughts. In fact, research studies have shown that on average, every single day, around 60,000 thoughts come through our minds on average. 60,000 thoughts. That's a lot of thoughts. And even if you are a very positive, optimistic person, you have to admit that because you're human, a portion of the thoughts that you think each day are negative thoughts, unhealthy thoughts, weasels that we must drop. So please, every day, remember to drop the weasels. Let go of the negativity. Because remember, either you drop the weasels or the weasels will drop you.